Food Depot and the city of Saginaw will soon close up shop, forcing several residents to go a little further to get their groceries. It's convenient for a lot of people and I would come here, but they're closing. So what are we going to do? Roberta McGowan takes her last walk down the aisle of Food Depot in Saginaw. Yet another grocery store in the city soon to close its doors. It's the closest one to me. Her and many others. The city doesn't have many fully operating grocery stores. Food Depot is one of the last. Roberta says she still drives and can make her way to other larger stores like Kroger and Meyer in the surrounding townships. But she worries about those without transportation. We'll find some way and maybe we can carpool or something to help people who don't have transportation. Ruben Billarell says he's worked at the store for seven years and he's sad to see it go downhill. It's out of business, lack of business, lack of patronism. He says things were good when the store remodeled and reopened in September of 2012. But the last several months have been tough. I feel a lot of it had to do with that government shutdown because a lot of people got their food stamps like two months in advance and they kind of went crazy with them and spent them. So nobody was coming here for two months spending food stamps and that's kind of our bread and butter. Ruben knows he's in for a job change, but he too is mostly concerned with the people who won't have access to a grocery store in the city. I'll find another job. I'll keep, I'm more worried about the community where they're going to shop. The people don't have automobiles, transportation to come here, you know what I mean? A lot of people walk here and now we're, how they can get to Walmart, Myers, wherever they have to go now. Now, as you can see here, the shelves are pretty bare. The store says they're going to continue selling products until they have to close their doors for good. And I'm told that could be within the next week or so. Of course, we'll follow this and keep you updated. Reporting in Saginaw, Kate Nadolski, W1EM, TV5.